Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Concepts of Commerce. Today's topic is Investment Multiplier or we can also say Keynes Investment Multiplier. Keynes Investment Multiplier shows a relationship between investment and aggregate income of the economy. According to Keynes, if you do increase in investment of the economy, it will result into a larger or we can say manifold increase in the aggregate income of the economy as a whole. So how does it happen? So let's have a look at a very simple example for the understanding. Thereafter, we will be moving to a theoretical example, which will show the working of the investment multiplier that you can use in your answers in exams as well. But before that, let's take a very simple example to understand how multiplier works. For simplicity purpose, I'm taking individuals here instead of the whole economy and smaller amounts also. So let's suppose market may or economy may increase hota hai investment ka by 2000 rupees. Ab ye 2000 rupees increase in income karte hai of let's suppose Mr. A by 2000 rupees. So jab A ke paas 2000 rupees badte hai ya zada income hoti hai, he is having an MPC of 50%. That means 50% wo wapas market mein kharch karenge because unka marginal propensity to consume 50% hai. So 2000 ka 50% hota hai 1000. Let's suppose Mr. A ne 1000 rupees kharch ke to buy the pizza. So 1000 rupees ab increase in income ho gaya of the pizza seller. Similarly, pizza seller is also having an MPC of 50%. That means he is going to spend 50% of the income received. That is 1000 rupees. Uska 50% ho jata hai 500 rupees. 500 rupees he is spending in the market or the economy to buy books. Now, we are having an increase in income of bookseller also by 500 rupees. Now, when bookseller is receiving 500 rupees as an additional income, he is also going to spend 50% of the same, that is 250 rupees to buy something from the economy itself. So, we can see here that when an increase in investment is made of 2000 rupees, it is not only having increase in income of 2000 rupees, but much more than that. This is how the investment multiplier works. If you keep on continuing the calculation here, till the amount becomes negligible, you will be able to calculate the value of multiplier also. But this was only for understanding purpose that we will be doing later on in this video when we will do a proper theoretical working in the tabular form of investment multiplier. Or clear nahi hai, what do we understand by MPC, the term that we used in the previous example. MPC stands for marginal propensity to consume. That means aapki jitni income hoti hai, aap uska kitna percentage kharch karte hai, market mein spend karte hai, but save nahi karte hai. On the contrary, MPA stands for marginal propensity to save. That means aap apni income ka kitna percent save karte hai. So the value of multiplier will simply depend on MPC and MPS. Higher the MPC, higher the value of multiplier. Lower the MPS, higher the value of multiplier. That means we can say MPC and multiplier are directly related. Agar MPC badega, so multiplier ki value bhi badegi. On the contrary, MPS and multiplier are inversely proportional. Agar MPS zada hoga, value of multiplier kam hoga. Why does it happen? Because agar MPS zada hai, that means aap zada paisa apne paas save kar rahe hai rather than spending it in the market. So market mein kam paisa jayega aur uska result utna hi kam hota jayega. So that is why agar MPC ki value zada hai, multiplier zada hoga. But agar MPS ki value zada hai, to multiplier effect kam hoga. Value of multiplier can be found by three given formulas. So the first formula is multiplier is equal to change in income by change in investment. Second is multiplier is equal to 1 by 1 minus MPC. MPC stands for marginal propensity to consume. And with the second formula, we can derive the third formula as well because we know that money that is not spent in the economy is saved. So 1 minus MPC is equal to MPS. So that is why the third formula will be 1 by MPS and MPS stands for marginal propensity to save. I hope you have got some understanding of multiplier as of now ki wo kaise kaam karta hai. Jaise ki humne abhi previous example mein dekha, ek 2000 rupees ka initial investment bohat zada change lata hai in aggregate income in the 
economy. So now before proceeding to theoretical explanation, tabular explanation of the same and also the graphical representation of the multiplier, let's have a look at the assumptions on which the multiplier rests. First of all, we suppose that MPC remains constant during the entire process. Secondly, there is only change in autonomous investment, whereas induced investment remains absent. The economy is a closed one, that means there is no foreign influence or interference in the economy. So we are dealing here with a closed economy. Consumption is a function of only current income of the people, not any previous savings that they might be having. There are no time lags in the multiplier process, that means when change in investment happens, when income increases, that is spent in the economy without any time lags. Because if there is time lag, honge, then then it will not be possible to study the effect of the multiplier. Now let's have a look at the tabular representation of the investment multiplier that will be very useful for attempting question in the exam also. First of all, we need to have five columns like this. First will be for the rounds. Next is increase in investment. After that, we will make one column for increase in income. Then increase in consumption that will depend on the value of multiplier that is MPC and lastly one column for increase in savings. Let's have a look at the first round now. In the first round we have an increase in investment of 100 crore rupees. So this increase in investment will bring an additional increase or change in income also equal to 100 crore rupees itself. But the story does not occur because jin logon ko ye income milegi ya jin ki income badegi, they are having an MPC of 60% or 0.6. That means they will be spending the 60% of the income received. So 60% of 100 becomes 60 crore rupees and 40 crore will go into the savings that we are putting in the last column. So the money that will come back into the economy will be 60 crore rupees and 40% that means 40 crore will not come back to the economy. Similarly, in the second round, the increase in income is 60 crore because first round mein 100 crore ka jab income bada, uska humne 60% calculate kiya jo wapas market mein aaya. Similarly, in second round, there will be increase in consumption up to the amount of 60% of 60 crore that will be 36 crore. So second round mein jo increase in consumption hoga, wo 36 crore ka hoga, which will come back to the economy as increase in income in the third round. Similarly, in the third round, we are having an increase in income of 36 crore that we got from the increase in consumption from second round. Again, in third round, we will calculate 60% of 36 crore. It will be 21.6 crore. That means the increase in consumption for third round is 21.6 crore. And this will be increase in income for fourth round. So similarly, you can complete the table by following the same procedure. That means, jo pichle round ka increase in consumption hoga, wo is round ka increase in income hoga. Again, aap uska 60% calculate karenge and in the next round, 60% will come back to the economy. So here, we can use the value of MPC that remains constant as we have seen in the assumptions and we can complete the table and we can find out the value of multiplier also. So here, by putting the first formula, we can calculate the value of multiplier as 2.5 because change in income by change in investment is approximately coming equal to 2.5. Now here we can see whatever formula we employ to calculate the value of k, the answer will be the same. Let's have a look at the graphical representation of investment multiplier now. Step by step, I'll be making the whole graph. So I would request all of you to make the graph with me so that you can have a better understanding of the same and you will be able to make it very easily. First of all, we need to make two x's. On x-axis, I am taking the income and on y-axis, I am taking aggregate demand. Now, we will make an income curve which will move upwards to the right. In the next step, we will make aggregate demand curve that will be summation of consumption and investment and it will not start from zero because we all know that demand can never be zero. So, it will start somewhat above from the origin. 
Now let's assume that there is an additional investment in the economy and now we have a new AD curve that is C plus I plus change in investment. So I have shown that with a dotted line here. Now we can say that the new equilibrium point that means where AD and Y is equal is given by point P. When extended to X axis we have a line PS. So here we can see that PQ is the change in investment and RS is the change in income. So we can clearly see that the change in income is more than the change in investment in the economy. So there why we can justify the point that is given by the Keynes multiplier that when an additional dose of investment is given to the economy, it will have a larger or manifold increase in income or aggregate income we can say in the economy. That was all for today. If you like today's video, please like, share and comment. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned then for the next video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Have a nice day.